Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Goblets and Gaze. This is season three, episode 44. Also, coincidentally, the season finale. Uh, I am Aubrey. I am your GM. I will toss over to my players to introduce themselves uh, and tell you their character and all that fun stuff. And uh, tonight is uh, less of a, um, a question and more of a just tell me about one of your favorite moments from the season and something you hope happens or wish to happen in season four. Uh, and we'll start at the top of the round with you, you, Aki. Hello, I'm Aki. My pronouns are she, her. Uh, and uh, I I will still continue to play Estrella Bashar Chloris. This is not like the last season finale where, oops, no, I was Talon the whole time. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still Estrella for now, uh, whose pronouns are also she, her. And um, she is your quadruple Bard Princess Dragon Summer, who needs more sleep, dates with her girlfriend, and to actually break her father's curse. I am guessing that the curse breaking will happen next season, and therefore that is what I would like. <laughs> that is in that please. <laughs> it's been four fucking seasons. I mean, I, I imagine that's going to be like a, episode one or episode two kind of thing. <laughs> please. <laughs> Not even please. Okay, like, look. I stole the plot from Dragon Prince. Season three of them is <laughs> going to happen faster than me breaking this shit. Okay. <laughs> and yeah. they went, they actually did their two year time skip seriously. That they took an actual two year hiatus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that, that, okay. Um, other things I hope for season four. Um, I, um, I want to beat the absolute dog shit out of Doan. I want to beat him so bad that not only does he resign, he simply chooses to live in space. But we won't give him that. <laughs> We're going to give him death instead. But, you know, like, I just, I just, mm -hmm. I just, I want to beat the living dog shit out of him. I want him to be Loki and we are Hulk. And we just take him by, like, the ankle and just smash him around a bit, you know? Um, as for uh, favorite moments, okay, so season three was really fucking long. I don't know if you guys noticed. Yeah. Um, it's kind of dub. We like doubled our regular prime time <laughs> of the season, I think. Um, so that means there's a lot of a lot of shit happened, and a lot of really good moments happened. I think my favorite would be summoning Rosie. That was really fun. I think. It was it was nicely played out. Um, uh, Tick only cried like three or four times this season, so I think that's a win comparatively. Um, I like every time Tamsin was sad and Meryl felt secondhand guilt. That was so <laughs> fucking entertaining for me. <laughs> I was sitting in my room with a bevy listening to this, and I'm like, cry. Cry, cry. <laughs> like a dick. Yeah, I'm so glad we don't record locally <laughs> because I did that a lot. Um, and um, I like seeing Joanna again. That was fun too. Dinosaurs, you know. Didn't think I'd we'd run into that. Uh, and, and here we are. And uh, and yeah, I think I think those are because I think everyone else is gonna say what what other stuff I like. So I'm gonna say those few things. Oh, I'm using my mic. Hi, I'm Dusty. I use they, he pronouns, and I play Joanna Sanchez, mom of Mexico, stealer of swords. Um, and yeah, season three was really damn long, um, and I spent more than half of it as a listener. Um, <laughs> I so like the things that stick out of my head, like there's there's obviously like so much that happened, but like. The Siege of Lagos to get Australia back was very fucking good. Um, professional door opener. Uh, like Dumisa's big day, the dinner party. Uh, I, I don't want to say too much because I feel like I'm stealing better people's things. But like, uh, I mean, also the last fight was really fucking good. That shit was like four plus hours and I didn't feel like it because we were all so stressed. Yeah, I would just look over and I was like, shit, 30 minutes have passed. Yeah, yeah. Um, I blinked and, and it became 11, 11 p.m. Yeah. Eastern. And 
getting to come back as Joanna was just really, really great. I'm being biased for obvious reasons, mm -hmm. but yes. It has been lovely having you. <laughs> and as far as season four, um, I don't know. I think season four just ends with Joanna being sad. That's all. No. Oh. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name is Ferris. I use she her pronouns, and I'm playing Demisa, the hobgoblin barbarian and champion of the night, who also uses she her pronouns. Um, my favorite moment, a favorite moment, because as we have previously established, so much happened. This was approximately a year of like in real lifetime that the season covered. Um, so let's see here. Kissing the Captain, um, Dumea Cannon, um, finding out officially that uh, Sir Shu was Dumi's mom. Dumi hated it, but I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> um, almost dying. That was fun. Uh, not quite close enough, but it was fun. I enjoyed almost dying. I hope to do it again sometime. Uh, I don't know. Most of it. Most of it was pretty good. And then as for future hopes... Um, I hope that we can officially put Teshka to rest. Um, I hope that we get to see the captain again, because I have unfinished business. <laughs> I think we all have um, unfinished business with the captain. We're so gay for the captains. Um, and I, I hope for one other thing that I'm not going to say, but I'm going to do it first. No, you won't. Yes, I will. I'm already a step ahead. I don't even have to hit those steps. I just do it. Bitch, I'm half a season ahead. Actually. Your whole family already loves me. It's fine. I would say the same thing, but I actually can't because you're, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because oops. Three we of them were family. We met two family members and we killed one of them. <laughs> I mean, the other one's already dead. Three I mean, of them were kind of are kind of, um... Not around. You're not around. And and the fourth one doesn't want to be around. So, <laughs> so good luck getting their blessing. Mm -hmm. So let's be real. So no, she I got one of them. Anyway. I, got, I got one of them already, and then we kill them. <laughs> but I got <laughs> it. Uh, I'm not a cactus. Hi, I'm. T <laughs> Hi, I'm Tick. I use he, she, they pronouns, and I'm playing Mero, the same character as always. Uh, monk born, raised in the underworld. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Someone said something cactus related and my brain just went, I'm a cactus. I'm not a cactus. I use he, she, they pronouns. I am playing Mero, a monk born and raised in the underworld, now with a lot of face stuff, and who knows what else will happen in the future. And I think everyone kind of like low key covered a lot of the moments I was going to do because professional door opener, there is no greater fear than opening a door on the map, <laughs> seeing a war world of like tornado skulls and just immediately closing it out of regret and fear. Uh, luckily, mm. it didn't see me. Uh, I do want to say my favorite thing, uh, like that hasn't been covered or touched, is being able to actually steal something uh, from Ozheim. Is it stealing if it's your mom's old belonging? Because I'd say yes, because it was technically property of Ozheim, but like I stole it. I stole something after failing math class, and I'm proud of it. And I like that cloak and those gloves a lot. Hello, I'm Sparlock. I use he, him pronouns, and I play Groon, who uses she, they pro she. Why do I keep saying that? Because Groon Maybe. never uses they pronouns. <laughs> what if Groon starts? <laughs> Maybe. Groon starts Groon's a gender journey. <laughs> um so favorite thing from this season has got to be meeting captain heavy well pirate heavy and i kind of want to see him end up on the captain ship because i think that would be Ooh. awesome oh um, cool. also Killing the sealed is very high on the priority list. Oh yeah, all the gods are gonna die. It's either the gods are gonna die or you're gonna die. Who knows what happens? Ominous, I love it. I mean, so far we're one for one on each side, so I, I like our odds. <laughs>
Hello, hello. My name is Alyssa. I use they, them pronouns, and I play Tamsin, Changeling Milf Wizard, who uses she, they pronouns. Uh, some of my favorite moments were with our lovely guests. I love Lemon and Marjorie, and also the spooky, spooky book and my cool, cool cubic gate that everyone stole from me because it would have ruined the plot. Uh, and then next season, I want to hear from Lemon about a trope and how that all turned out. And also, I want to do a memory spell on Joanna, but the one I want to do is a level nine memory spell, so I probably won't be able to. I love how Concern. both of us forgot to say help a Midas. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's, I like, just... such a given. That bitch can wait, actually. <laughs> you brought up your... Like, it's a given, but you technically brought up your dad, which is also a given. So, like... Is it, forgot... though? Is it? Because of the fucking Dragon Prince is beating us to it. <laughs> we forgot. I mean, I didn't forget. I was just like, oh, I mean, I talked too much about this stuff. I'm gonna let... I know, I know Alyssa's gonna say it, right? There's no way Alyssa's gonna also forget, and Alyssa forgot. I don't want to help her. I want everyone to be sad about it. <laughs> That's what Alyssa wants. Oh, I was about to say, okay, Tamsin, I'm about to send you to the grave. Well, I mean, Tamsin did wait 400 years of, to... What's another 400? <laughs> That's right, I've been Omni-Man this whole time. <laughs> uh, um, so, um, yeah, this is... A uh, the final episode of our season as we wrap some stuff up and set some stuff up for next season. It is going to be a lot of fun, uh, but a quick note about our between-season programming. We got a couple of cool things that are going on. Uh, we got a Thirsty Sword Lesbians game that is going to be run by Mimi, who played Lemon. Uh, that is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and then, uh, Ferris, do you want to tell us what you're going to run? Oh, yeah, I'm going to run a little tiny mini campaign uh, that is space for we're going to be using the alien RPG and we're going to be in the alien universe and it's called Mother May I. Yes, I'm very excited for whatever, whatever happens. I get to traumatize you all in space. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Bring it on. Um, and other various just normal announcements. We're at Arcadium, still going. Uh, go check it out every Monday on Nat20 Productions. Uh, check out Bring Your Own Mech. That will be coming back sometime in the next month or so. Uh, and then uh, if you're listening to this in September, uh, Escaping Carcosa will uh, be launching soon. Go check that out on Ballad at Seven Days. Um, and that is everything I can think of. So uh, everybody else, say your thanks. What am I doing? Oh yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. The prompt um, of the chat. <laughs> yes, the city that never dies. It doesn't die, but people sure die frequently in it. Maybe I don't know. Uh, go find out at uh, Clever Corvid Productions. I play Darling. Maybe in season two, you will see that I can't go anywhere without bringing Dusty with me. Maybe you won't. We'll find out. Look forward to it. <laughs> um, and uh, every Saturday from uh, 1 to 4 p.m. Eastern, you can catch me at Friends Who Ro You can catch me on Friends Who Roll Dice or Forward uh, playing Printed Weaver Journey. I got to die first. It was so fun. I'm still there. Don't worry. It's, it's Dark Souls, but like, very fun. Uh, that's all. I don't think I can announce the other things yet. That's it. Uh, one, Aki draws art. If you want to talk about that before I talk about my art. Oh, yes, I draw art. Um, I mean, you can try to commission me, <laughs> but maybe try in November. <laughs> I'll be yeah. more free in November. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm free, mostly now, actually, uh, sort of. But I also do um, acrylic charms, enamel pins, and like other sort of merch stuff, low key. So if you're like, hey, I want some pins of this specific thing, like hit me up, I'll do it. Same with like charms and stuff. And if you have anything in mind that's not that, and you're like, I want custom pencil cases, I'll figure it out. If you hello, hello, uh, this is Alyssa speaking. 
I also have things happening, and those things include Camp Carnage, which is a Monster of the Week horror camp counselor game on Friends Who Roll Dice on every other Thursday. And then also starting approximately now, maybe a week ago, maybe a year ago, depending on when you listen to this. I am on Dexar 19's channel for a Saturday, every other Saturday stream of Quest, where we are Dragon Riders, which is exciting. We haven't started yet as of recording, but I'm very excited for it. I'm going to say besides all the like stuff that was mentioned that I'm also part of like Beyond and Wayward Arcadium is uh, go follow at Unwavering Force on Twitter. We are slowly hyping a new Star Wars thing that half of this cast is also in. So you should go check it out as we just leave cryptic hints about what we're actually doing. Yeah. Hey. We can talk about it. <laughs> yes. So now, Tick, is the question I ask you of what, what happened last time. Hmm. What happened last time? Well, if I had, I to, su- <laughs> if I had to summarize <laughs> it in like three words or so, uh, it would be we killed God. If I had to summarize <laughs> it in more words, um, we entered into the chamber as dragons fought to sort of protect our path. And we ended up walking into Igdar's house where he had two floating, like, ice worms of death. And he was like, all right, show me what you got. And turns out we got a lot, actually. Like, half of us started flying. Uh, The other half started wailing on these worms. And we did eventually, like, take them down. Uh, We had two fire dragons defeat two ice dragons, which was uh, very nice. I know my type advantages. Uh, Hopefully some of you play Pokemon, so you get that reference. But, uh... We took out the worms, we fought Igdor himself. Uh, the only thing that could hurt him was like specific, like I think spells and also uh, dragon made weapons. So we kind of just stole his dragon made weapon and gave it to Joanna, who just sort of beaten the shit out of him with his own sword, which was fun. Hey. That was enjoyable. Uh, and we did take him out. Tamsin quite literally ate his heart and uh, swallowed it whole, and he turned into a bunch of sea brine, which was kind of gross, but also kind of expected, because he's a, he's a moisty boy. And uh, with that, we won. Yes, he did. Uh, and uh, as we left it, you were standing in the middle of this temple. This wave of power that you had unleashed from killing a god had extinguished the wall of fire. Um, and you're now, there's now only a locked door between you and the idol. I know what I have to do. What do you have to do? I have to unlock the door! <laughs> we do carry with us the only door opener in all <laughs> of sight. Professional door like, opener. Mm-hmm, exactly. Uh, yeah, I do have mm-hmm. the Ring of Maniacal devices now, too, so... Mm-hmm. Let's I, pick um, that lock. Yeah, give me uh, give me that check. It's gonna be... It's like if a Loki feels If Loki feels like a, um, you know those game shows? Where it's like, what's behind that door? Except Tick is both the host and the sexy lady that opens the door. <laughs> <laughs> and also the contestant. And the contestant. Don't know the answer. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They just teleport right. to wow. the different spaces. Wow, <laughs> my three favorite genders. Thank you. Most oh. contestant and pretty lady who opens the door. <laughs> so I was thinking to myself, I feel like I'm going to fail this just because it's my track record. Mm-hmm. But surprisingly, I rolled a 41. Heck, yeah. yes. Yeah, you you unlock the door. Uh, and you can open these gates, and behind it you see the idol. Uh, it has a, uh, it is the red amber, uh, and it has what appears to be, uh, some shiny scales inside of it. Snap her fingers, it's not bones, but I'll go get it. Wait, is it, like, mm. booby-trapped or anything like that? Give me a perception check. Okay. Mero, Mero, what do you see? Um... You hmm? see a 39! What the fuck is happening?! (laughs) We've hit the turning point. Thanks, don't test it. Yep, don't mention it. Um, so yeah, you don't see any- you you don't see any traps. Alright, I'm gonna grab that idol and head up to the rest of the group. Mm. 
All right, yeah, you, you touch it and it feels warm when you hold it. Uh, you can kind of feel the magic in it. And it's probably about this point, Astrea, you get a sending message. Uh, it is from Rin. And it is just, if you just did what I think you did, get out of there now. I'm so tired. She just rests and sit down. Okay, guys, time to go. Grandpa Fuck. says we got the run. I say as also my response. <laughs> I'm just like rejoin the group, hold me out. I was like, okay, I'm ahead of you guys. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Can we call this come later? I think I, I. Okay, wait. We have many rounds pass. Um, some would say two episodes worth of rounds have passed. Yeah. So, um, what I think are it we, was almost we, up to ten rounds. I think. Y- yeah, uh, did, how does that correlate to time? And I'm only asking because several of us have fly spells. Mm-hmm. And it's been a minute. Is, it's been a minute? It's, okay, it's been so closer to like five. Um, it's, been, it's been, like, literally, so each round is, like, six seconds. And you yeah, that's why I rounds. wanted to, so yeah. It took you only about a minute to kill a god. Uh, I can speed so fly mm-hmm. because I, I haven't think... used my flight. And we, I canonically can carry almost the entire party. And that was several levels ago. You also have several large dragons. Oh, yeah, yeah. we got dragons. Yeah, we got dragons. yeah let's just go. Everybody hop. <laughs> yeah, Take a like... dragon and hop on it. I'm on my child. Yep. I'm just uh, shoving my rock in my pocket and flying. So yeah. I is going to slowly mm-hmm. float over on top of one of the dragons. Yeah. You're I'm going to summon the bat wings anyway, just because I haven't used them yet. It's fun. I've been a bat, but I have not had bat wings, and it's time. Yes, be edgy. I, I, I am the knight. I can fly, but fire breathing? One thing at a time, Grun. I'll fly and then ride the dragon. Sounds good. Um, and you all clamber onto either Rex or Kite. Uh, I would actually probably recommend Kite because Rex is a magma dragon and does a it's rather warm. <laughs> Your coochie will be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, kite, you all climb on the back or fly or do whatever. You all get out of here. And as you sort of lift off from the temple and start flying back to Saite for the time being, uh, you all watch as the dragons have uh, seemingly triumphed for now and you see them pushing some of the larger creatures back into the sea. It seems most of the rest of them have started to flee. And yeah, and then minutes later, you're landing on Saite. And many of the dragons are coming back with you as well. It is... It is a mo- it's kind of a tense moment uh, at first before you all set down, and then there is a mood of triumph. There are people celebrating. You, you did... Uh, you killed a god. Uh, and it is starting... The, like Word of what happened is starting to spread around the island very quickly. It's very important when we land. Group hug. The biggest. Biggest group hug. No one's safe from the oh. group hug. Or even the dragons are being pulled in it. I'm glad everyone's safe and I'm still traumatized and seeing Thompson just fucking eat a dude. I thought it was pretty cool to be honest. <laughs> Wait, Tamsin cool, did what? Oh, you didn't Tamsin see that. that with metal. I didn't see. Thompson literally ate his heart out. Is that sanitary? I don't know. Hey, Thompson, one second. Joanna's going to go through her bag after the group hug and get a clean toothbrush. Here you go. <laughs> Thompson sort of stares at it, but like, press to digitate some water and rinses out their mouth and brushes their teeth a little. I hate to be the one to ask this, but how that got no. taste? <laughs> I wasn't particularly focused on the taste, Estrella. <laughs> you it's ate it. Salty. <laughs> <laughs> you 
you ate it. Like I, I like sushi too, but I don't think that's what they meant. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'll admit that I was more caught up in the feeling of it than the actual taste. But are you okay? No upset stomach or anything? Uh, yeah. Uh, you got the idol, right, Mara? I take out the idol triumphantly, like their chest puffs up a little bit, they look very proud of their door opening skills. Yes, uh, about this point you do notice that uh, Cadmus has uh, come to uh, congratulate you. Uh, you know, you watch this. He adjusts his spectacles uh, and, you know, looks at all of you and just goes, Yes, uh, I don't mean it to sound condescending, but color me impressed. No, no, no. I'm impressed too. Holy shit, we did it. Yes. That was a full last guy. He almost many, fucking kicked our ass. Many people have tried it, and you were the first to ever succeed, so I commend you. Uh, anything that we can do to help you, and whatever comes next, let us know. I think we all need a nap. Oh, uh, yeah, actually. Um... I mean, Astrea, you warned us to get out of there. Something happening that you know of? Right. Yeah, no. Gr Grandpa said to get out. So I just, I did not want to question it. I mean, we got what we, we needed to get. I, Do you I think could I probably ask Mal, though. Do you think he... That was very well timed for him to tell us to get out right after the god died. Do you he's think he's still a god? It? I'm pretty sure all the gods felt that. Then that's I mean, probably why I needed to get out of there. It was probably you. that massive energy blast wave. We'll see. Cadmus is also like I'm pretty sure all of Cyrene felt that. Oh. Oh. You think yeah, that he'll last... point to a couple of like shattered windows? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Oh, but it's okay. We're we're already fixing it, but <laughs> can we break all the windows in Cyrene? That's an expensive job. Uh, I think we needed to take a rest, but it is a new day. Can I borrow this sending suit again for a very predictable reason? <laughs> um, yes. And while you go do that, I'm just going to use all of my charges to yell at my not yell to talk to the grandpa and see what is up. Do you want to go first? No, no, you you do. Because I need four charges and you only need one. True. Okay, I'm going to call Lila and tell her I'm not dead in 25 words or less. Uh, just be like, sorry, this has one charge, not dead. We killed God and got the last idol. Really sorry for the cliffhanger. We'll be back soon. And and that's it. it cuts off because it's twenty five words. You you get this like a, literally less than a minute later. You get oh thank God you're all right. I was really worried <laughs> there for a minute. Um yes you, yeah, you got the idol. Um meet us back at the tree. And that's pretty much where it cuts off. Nice. Ah, uh, meanwhile. I'm just gonna speak. I don't. I, I'm not gonna count the words because I have four charges on this thing, and so so Rim's just just gonna get like a rapid like Twitter notification noise in his head. Um. Okay. Okay, we're safe for now. We got the last idol. Yes, we killed Ikthar. Um. We're probably gonna meet you back at the tree. Hopefully, really, really soon. Okay, yeah, I, I, out of character. I'm forgetting some stuff. Was that it? That was it, right? Kill the god, got the stuff. idol. Kill, yeah, kill the god, got the Dragons? idol. Will we soon? Um, oh, yeah, I don't know if he knows. I can't remember. This was like three sessions ago. But uh, found all the dragons. They're really chill. Um, probably, hopefully, we can all be friends. Yay. And Rosalite learned the trick. It's only an hour long, though. And, and that's <laughs> that's it, I think. Oh, no one's dead. Except for that god. That god is super dead. But the rest of us, we're good. Yeah, you, know, you get a message back being like, Oh, that's good. I was... I was worried. Uh, 
taking down a god is not an easy task. I'm very proud of you. And I will meet you back at the World Tree, and we can discuss things further. I imagine things are going to change a lot from today. Thank you, Mr. Wick. And I will just... that's it. <laughs> <laughs> is that like their nickname? Mm. Mr. Wick? Yes, some would say okay. that it is quite a good franchise for now. Franchise? What do the gods do? I'm too tired. Oh. So are we staying here? Are we going to... Where is it? Okay, uh, the World Tree, which I don't think you've ever been to, right, Joanna? No, no, I have not. I'm okay. tired. Um, so, I would really like to rest, but if we would rather go straight to the World Tree, I think I have it in me. I think putting some distance between us and... <laughs> no, it's not. Never mind. We'll, we'll wait. Uh, well, okay, here's where I must ask. Is it like, technically, um, so I'm out of 7th level spells, but I do have teleport still at 6th level, and 6th level, the distance is about 100 miles. So, like, theoretically, I could get us there if it's within reach. Yeah, I'd say it's probably within reach. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I could pro I have it in me to get us in there like right now technically, but um also I have I have, a, I have some questions, like who the fuck is coming with us and, and stuff. Um, I will say that uh, kite has been sort of taken off by like a medic, uh, because she was fucked. She had twenty five health left after the third fight. Ooh, 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 I had a feeling. Yeah, Kite was not doing great. Uh, Ed Rex went off to discuss what the plan with the uh, the rest of the uh, council. Uh, and yeah, so I imagine it's just you, the party? Unless you want to take a dragon with you. That's why I was going to ask if any of the dragons wanted to come with us at all to talk and see mm. shit through. Because if we just like up and leave, uh, it's going to look kind of sus unless they're totally cool with it. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, do you have a specific one you want to ask, or just any of them? I just, yeah, not to come, but just to know mm -hmm. that we're leaving, and to, like, fill him in on everything. I think we were just talking to him, but everything. He, yeah, he could delegate who comes, actually. Yeah, that's kind of, like, his job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, he will send... We may want to take a hour or two to lick our wounds. Even if we don't go for a long rest. I was thinking it's probably going to take you at least an hour to get everything together. And the ritual also takes time, doesn't it? The spell take time? The ritual technically only takes 10 minutes mm -hmm. to cast. But like if we wanted to take an hour, we can still take an hour. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Tannis will offer to go with you. That's a shadow baby, right? Yeah. The Umbral Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder where else you could see an Umbral Dragon. Mm. I wonder. Mm. Sounds I just, like a Mondays thing. I just remembered. Is Pythios okay? Did we leave Zoltan's child in the middle of a war? <laughs> is he okay? Pythios is fine. Okay, good. <laughs> um... Though I will need somebody to roll a percentile die real quick. Is this for how many survive or how many died? Because if it's survival, Aki needs to roll it. And if it's dying, then Tick needs to roll it. <laughs> <laughs> it could be either. You also, like, that assumes that their luck doesn't magically know whether they need to roll high or low. Yeah, my nose. So tell my me, nose. and I will mm. tell who to roll. <laughs> but then we'll Who's know. Who's got average luck? <laughs> <laughs> me? Am I the average luck person? Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm one of two extremes, um, usually. I will, I will say you can take roll twice and take the lower number. Do you want me to do it or no? Because... Because there are certain things that I like. My dice will kill me. Like to I kill roll me. one and I roll one. Okay, that's fair. Alyssa can roll yeah, one, yeah, I can yeah. roll one. Can we take the lower? Okay. 
Yeah, you'll okay. take the lower. I rolled a seven. I rolled a six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. I just need to say this. I rolled for fun before I said anything. I rolled a two. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, wait, wait, wait. Now I want to roll for fun. Roll <laughs> a two for fun? <laughs> oh. Oh. Somehow I'm... I rolled low, but also the highest of the mm. low. I'm really I, glad I... I didn't roll. Because you just roll another hundred? I rolled really close to a hundred. Mm. <laughs> no. I got a four with my fun roll. How are, we How are all rolling? getting are... such low numbers? Party, How come tiny, I got under 92? Because your dice are like, we must be powerful, obviously. See, now I just have Max 81. See, it's going lower. Alyssa, do you not have a D10? That's an 8. <laughs> that's a D8. Oh, that's an 8? Oh, no! Oh, baby. <laughs> that's a D8, not a D10. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Can we keep the, the 10s place, though? <laughs> I mean, yeah, six works fine. I did uh, roll a seven, so like... It was, it was oh, I found how... a D10 and it's a one. I, it's how many survive, they'll kill you. No, it's how many it's how many die. Okay, it only... One. It could be one. I rolled a 69. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I don't want... I don't, I don't, you know, like, <laughs> nice. nice amount of deaths. Like, Doam will be like, Whoa, the fuck, you're here. And then, like, 69 Dragon Shell was like, Oh, wait a minute. What the fuck? Hmm. <laughs> the lowest I've rolled, I rolled several times, but the lowest I rolled was a 14, but that's after like a few rolls, so um, I'm mm -hmm. really glad I didn't roll. Yeah. So only six dragons perished in the battle. Which is probably on point because I think the whole thing lasted about an hour <laughs> in, in total. I feel like maybe our side was a little overpowered in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> there were a hundred dragons, so. There were a yeah. hundred dragons. Can you imagine? Like, if we're saying these, like, just if we just imagine that each dragon has like Game of Thrones dragons level of like firepower, and we had a hundred of them against Reavers. Yep. Which we killed very easily. It was probably the, it, was, it was probably the crabs that took them out. Yeah. Crabs. And other various like sea hydras and stuff. The hippo. The hippo. The hippo. The hippo. The hippo. Yep. Um, the real reason why I didn't come after us was too busy murking six dragons. <laughs> Revenge for being scared <laughs> off. Um, uh, I have a quick question. You think I'm scared? I'm not scared. I'll fight a dragon. Okay, wait, sorry. I think Aubrey has something to say. <laughs> no, you keep question. <laughs> I was going to ask, can I do a little burials for the meal quick? Because I feel like these six dragons deserve it. I mean, they're That's gonna all. like prepare them. They've got a, they've got like a ceremony they do. Okay, never mind, never mind. They got this under control. Yeah, they have a ceremony they do when dragons pass for you. Okay, they have fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um. Uh. So yeah. Uh. You all can take like an hour or two to patch yourselves up, breathe, get something to eat, uh, and then Tannis will join you. Uh. To uh, travel to the portal through mm -hmm. to. The world tree. I'm going I, back. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, in that time, Timson peels off for a minute and looks real quiet for a minute. She did some sort of magic. You don't know. It's fine. What kind of magic? I want to make a perception check. That's not fair. <laughs> Look at this mm. ominous wind over there. Just say you need to fart. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jeremy. <laughs> oh no, you're right. Because if you sit in the chair, oh no, Jeremy, Ooh. front row seat, literally. To the toot, toot. Um. Okay, though, but I, I do, um, mm. <clears throat> I do have to go get my eggs back because they were being protected yeah. uh so i'm gonna go back get my eggs look at mm -hmm. my eggs feel weird probably have to talk <laughs> to to my girlfriend for like a hot second do we do that now or should we wait ferris do you want to do that now or you want to do that later I should do it now yeah now yeah okay yeah. cool yeah cool 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 cool, cool. 
I feel like Jimmy is also coming to find you for probably the same reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, oh, look at that! Right on time, as if this was on cue. Um, can we talk about this? I'm gonna just like show the eggies. We actually wanted to talk to you about that also, so yes. I think we should before we leave at this mm -hmm. chat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I mean, I still need this one, and I'm like, wiggling the, the, the time egg. For very, very specific curse-related purposes. Right. Um, but I mean, afterwards... There's, there's dragons now, and there weren't before, which I feel like changes things. It changes a lot of things. I mean, like, I'm not... Obviously, Ro Rosalite is exempt from it's different. this. It's very different. It's only known... I, I would absolutely love... You birthed her. <laughs> I mean, you did. Not the normal way, but you birthed her into being. With magic, but still. No, I just never thought of it that way, but you're kind of not wrong. Yeah, that's kind of always how I thought of it. It's partially why you know, sometimes no. I hesitate like claiming like a mother title because like you are legitimately her. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, oh, that's another discussion. No, no, no. That's later. That's later talk. We gotta talk about the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can, I can, uh, I'll think yeah. about, I will think about that term lit literally later. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, no. Um, because like, like you and I both have experience with a different, very different experiences, but being, you know, brought up away from our families, and they can go really well in your case, and they can go really bad in my case. I think we would be great, but also, are we the best option? I don't think so. I mean, I would, I would still, I was, it's a little selfish. I would still really, really like to, to be a part of their lives. Yeah, I got really attached to the idea, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Also, but like the best for them. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not. Sure. I I I have no idea how one is going to. Um. Hundred percent honest. This one has like four hundred years of time magic on it. I have no idea how it's gonna grow. And we already see how Rosie's growing. And it, it she's still baby, but like big, yeah. dragon wise. Yeah. So um, I just has a lot of space. Yeah, and we're <laughs> like. We're gonna be on the run now. I mean, almost certainly we have. Yeah, and I don't want to bring. I don't want to bring any of them on on a god yeah, war. We don't uh, want that on them. No, I'm scared enough yeah. leaving Satay behind with our mess. Like, what if they get blamed for it? They participated. What if the gods come after them? I don't I'm know. Just, oh, what can we do? We can't. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I know. Yeah. So, so, but we're on the same page, right? Yeah. Like, unfortunately, okay, yes. Cool. Okay. It's cool, a bad cool, page cool, to be cool, on, cool. but we are on the same one. Okay, well that's good. At least, at least the page is the same. Yes. The chapter is the exact same as same well. Same book, same chapter, same page. Yep. Okay. Same sentence even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I had one plan. Well, it's not really a plan. It's me asking. Um, so you know how like Zolstrom is like a super dilf. Zolstrom is a plushie. Also. Yeah. But like dad, that's like a dad. That's like a whole dad that we just. He's travel with us. He yeah. is trustworthy, we do like him, and he is he does have parenthood experience, which is more than we can say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's a dragon. Or exactly. has been previously. Right no, now he's, he's a still, plushie. He still like fully is. You know, like I won't like if you were put into a plushie, I can't I can't go, you know, she was. <laughs> she was a woman. You're like, I can't do that. No, you you still are. <laughs> I mean, I think gender's a little different in this case, but no, no, I get what you're saying. You're right, you're right. I just, um, can a plushie raise, um, like a dragon that could tear him apart and set him on fire? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that, like, but I mean, he was, like he's a, not always going to stay as a plushie. All we need is like a whole dragon skeleton. Like, I'm willing to do the, t the the quest, we can add it to the list, for sure, absolutely. That's what it takes for these kids to, like, have a dad and a parent of, like, their culture. Great, let's do it. But also, we need, like, a whole dragon skeleton 
And I don't know if Sate has those lying around that they would be willing to donate. Um, no, no. I mean, um, okay, uh... Okay. Uh... So, so don't... Mero. Um, not okay. yet, at least. And Tamsin, too. Not, not yet. Because, okay. I mean... This was before Tamsin. It just so happens that Tamsin happens to be, like, Mero's... We'll always keep your secrets. No hesitation. Pseudo parent. I'm not sure actually what the relationship is. They both are. Re- they are both related in the sense. To... About it. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but that um... they haven't defined it between themselves yet. It's kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Re- regardless. Regardless. Um. So like, Mero has like this was a while back. This was like back in Cressa when Mero me- mentioned um stuff like the state of being of their mom and I was <sighs> okay so let's say I have not actually been sleeping much but I promise you it's not because I'm worrying about things but it's just because I've been doing a lot of reading and maybe I am I think I'm close to figuring something out about the body issues that we have for three people like getting them one even if they have none at the moment okay on one hand you're so smart and i am so proud of you and like this is really cool on the other hand babe you gotta sleep i sleep you gotta stop taking other people's problems on and sleep i i sleep. like i appreciate like, it i love how much you do for your, your friends and your family you're so smart i love you but but girls <laughs> You gotta sleep. I may not know how many hours are in the day in this setting, but I know four sounds okay. If this solves the problem, excellent. Then we only have one other problem to solve, which is asking Zoldrum. Yes. Actually, two other problems to solve. Asking Zoldrum and getting you a gosh dang nap. <laughs> a one, of those hour things, one of those things mm-hmm. can be solved like right now because yeah. look, look over there. It's a it's it's a Zolstrom. I point. <laughs> so that way Zolstrom can come in. <laughs> Hello, I am here. <laughs> Hello. Could we ask you a couple questions? Yes, go for it. I give um, Australia a nod. Uh, yeah, um... So you know how we've been, like, traveling with, like, three dragon babies? Yes. Okay. And you know how now there's, like, a dragon island? Yes. So we... And I, I gesture between me and Doomy. We think it's better to not... Like, that we do not raise, raise them. You know, because, I mean, originally we didn't know about a lot of all of this, so it was kind of like, well, who will, right? And, and, um, and now it's like, oh, oh, well, there's lots of people who will now, right? But we wanted to ask you specifically if you wanted to raise two babies, two and a half. I'm, I'm very flattered that you, you, you came to me. Um, I would love, love to help. Um, maybe I might not be the best at helping in my current form, uh, but... We're gonna fix that. Oh. And also, we would totally help anytime you needed help. Not that you aren't obviously probably, like, the expert on this, but, like, you know, I have you need, like, babysitters. 20 children? Whoa, what yeah, the hell? Wow. Only like, 20? Yeah, only 20? Holy crap. At least. At no, least. this is great. <laughs> Why is it a big number? Yeah, why don't you know? Yeah. You don't I know your know. kids? Or are you counting these two? Well now now I'm now now I'm not sure. <laughs> well, hang on, are you the ultimate parent here? Or like you don't know? There there are certain points of my memory that are a little bit fuzzy from being stuck in a tooth for a long time. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. But I remember <laughs> twenty children. 
I also, still I'm babies. several thousand years old. Think memory gets weird when you're that old. Would not think children would be the things to drop off of it, but that's just me personally. <laughs> Stop judging him. <laughs> I'm judging him a little bit, okay? He had a round. He had to make an, a guesstimate of his number of children. You don't guesstimate that. Well, you know, you spend some time with somebody, and like, then two, three years later, you're still with a child, and you're suddenly like, wait, is that mine? And they don't uh, tell me. Good point. <laughs> All right. If you're not like, okay, no, no, okay, I understand now. There could be secret children you don't know about. Yeah, you you spend like a really just uh, intense weekend with somebody, and then. <laughs> Five years later, you see them with a the child. I'm covering like, Rosalite's ears. <laughs> so you're like, you're like a just a little bit, like a little bit of like a slut, just a little bit, affectionately. I've, I've had my moments. Fair enough. <laughs> Summer break hits. Zolzrum gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> Not girls, just Zolzrum. <laughs> okay. If the body situation were resolved, would you? Adopt two more? Yes, yes, I would. And consider the body situation in progress. But we're not putting a time limit on it. Because I'm not stressing her out. It's just when we get to it, you know? Yes. I, I, it's priority, but like, when we get to it. Yes, yes, I, I'm not in any rush. I can at least move around in this form, and that's more than I had for several hundred years. And I mean, there's still eggs, so... Yes, that does help. But, um... You are all heading to the World Tree, correct? Yes. Yes, I would... Would like to go with you. Do you... Does, like... Pythios and Hyperion want to come too? Because if so, I need to make two trips. Oh, um... I can ask, but they're very busy here. Okay, and I'll then I'll, I'll be back. Thank you for mm -hmm. helping us. You're <clears throat> welcome. Wait, wait, wait. One more question. We can still have, like, super play dates, though, right? With the babies? Oh, oh of course. Like, Okay, good, because I think it would be really good for Rosalind. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. You know, you... You know... I view you all as very, very part of my family, so, you know. Demetrius, you are always, bit. You are always welcome. So, are you, like, granddad number two now, or do you want to be one of the dads? I, I, have, can be, um... I can be granddad. Okay, number two. Wait, I'm talking to me, because then to Rosalite, great granddad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to actually keep track of these things now. Yes, you are a parent. It is it is a is a burden that we all must carry. No, I mean I have a lot of dads. You oh, have a lot of true. dads. No, me, a you lot can be of... whatever you want. I got yeah. so many options free. Just all full space. Whole family. Tree. Just fill it in. With you. Anyway. You mean to start calling Zul's from dad. <laughs> <laughs> we, your last dad was a dragon too, why not? I mean, it, oh hold on. God. We it's both have our last... Event. Hold on, hold on, first. We both have our last dads were either A, a dragon, or B, rule the underworld. I say it in rotations because he's not going to be living very long. I, I've seen Australia's bloodlust. So theoretically, yeah, yeah. he could replace both our dads by fitting both those criteria. In this essay, I will... <laughs> Which would my best siblings again? A. Yeah. Um, no, but it's funny because... If, if Zoldrum, if, if Demisa called Zoldrum dad, that means that she killed her dad and then picked up a new one at the exact same day, like within like an hour. Yeah. Oh my That's god, that did happen on the same day, huh? It the same day. Oh my god. It was probably the same hour. Yeah, because the Maeve fight was really quick in, in mm. terms of like in-game time. That was like, yeah. what, a minute? If that. Yeah, if that. It was like, killed dad, walked down the hallway, Killed Maeve, mm -hmm. picked up a new guy. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I digress yet again. Yeah, we're bringing some energy into this season finale. This is the finale. There's a lot going on. I have like yeah. two finales and a and a restart this week. I am whoosh. <laughs> no, that's fair. Um, 
Yes. So you have figured out a... You've solved the dad problem. Uh, and is there anything that anybody else wants to do on Saite before you head back to the World Tree? I want to go bug Tamsin to figure out why are they being so sus. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I think, like, Joanna is just, like, sitting down on, like, I don't know, a box or whatever. Very exhausted. Still has a broken shield on her arm. Sees Tamsin walk away. Well, sees Jeremy with Tamsin walk away. Knows it's been a little bit and is going to go find him. And sees Tamsin just being quiet and weird. Weirder than normal. Uh, And... Uh, Thompson, like, uh, you okay over there? Oh, Joanna, um, did you need some help with that shield? Joanna's gonna look down, sees that it's like cracked in half, basically, and just we could deal with it later. I just wanted to see how you were doing. You walked away from the group. I mean, you did just, like, literally eat a god, which is, like, a very strange sentence. So, like, how are you doing? What's what's going on? Uh, I just... It's strange to think that we actually killed a god, and now we have the idol, and the Feywilds will be open soon. I hadn't... I don't think I realized that it would actually happen it's a it's good thing though right you i mean you'll be able to get your magic back you'll be able to go home i mean see a minus it's good right hamson looks odd um a little i don't know blank faced maybe like they're trying hard to sort of hide their feelings but aren't excellent at it ah but she says yes no of course it's it is a good thing I just it's all happening very fast I I could understand that I've been here I think less than a year. I don't know how long years last here, to be honest, still. But here I am, hoping... Well, surviving, fighting a god, so... You know. And, Thompson, you know... You know you could trust me. There's... There's something going on. You could tell me. With the Feywilds open, do you plan to confront Atropa again, it might be easier for you to, you to return home as well. Oh, I mean, there's that, but to be honest, Thompson, I feel like I'm I'm too far deep. I'm, I'm here to finish this. I'm not just gonna leave everyone. Like, I don't know if these kids will survive, and I'll make sure they do any way I can. I do appreciate that about you, Joanna. And Timson sort of makes grabby hands for the shields to try and start repairing it. Joanna will unbolt it from her arm. Um, You definitely see it's like her arm is bruised, like, because it took, like, a straight-up attack from Mikthar a couple times. Um, I'm just gonna like hand this heavy shield over and <laughs> look. I try. Everyone, this group has been nothing but welcoming. It's almost like you know having this really weird family. I just can't wait till we could just relax. Well, 
I mean, if we keep on this rate of god killing, maybe that'll be soon. And all we can do is try, right, Joanna? All we can do is try. And Joanna is gonna like put uh, her hand on Tamsin's shoulder and squeeze, just just gently, like comforting. I got a forty-two for crafting. So hey. I think After it's a nice this. repair. The, repair the shield, or it makes like make repairs on the shield. So after a moment, Tamsin sort of slightly leans into it, uh, and then after a moment, hands the shield back to Joanna. Uh, this should be good enough until we get back to the world tree, at least. Thank you, Tamsin. And Joanna is gonna like sit stand up straight just like in the old like old like oh my back and all my bones kind of why it's like okay bones well, let's stop <laughs> I just I, I just realized I was off push to talk for that because I was <laughs> continue <laughs> I'm sorry uh, continue and I just want to look at Thompson's like well let's get back with the group get everything together Yes. So you rejoin the group. Uh, Tannis is has a has everything they need. And does anyone else have anything else they wish to do here before we move on? We told everyone from Sate everything they need to know. Okay. Do we tell that we've told them we have the egg? Should we tell them the plan for the eggs? We don't have to roleplay it. Just should we inform them? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's that good to, right, to, right? to inform them, yeah. I, I imagine know, then... that was all part of the conversation with Zoltram. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a nice TLDR for the group, like, yes. Mm. Hey. Babies, going to Zoltram after we fix Zoltram. Yes. Give him a body. Um. So, yes. I think the only other thing I'd want to do is just uh -huh. tell... I forget his name, I have to scroll through my notes to find it, Rex. but say... No. Cadmus? Cadmus, that's the one. Mm -hmm. um, just to... I, I'm sure he already knows. He seems very smart and more on the know than the rest of us. Most of us, anyway. Um, but just give him a heads up that, you know, be on guard. Maybe the gods will come this way for retaliation if they find it. Sorry. Yeah, just message us, literally. Mm. We'll just tell we'll be back. here. Mm. You have like smoking spells. Mm. Now is the time. Yes. Anti scrying stuff. Anyway. Oh, he goes. We've had anti scrying runes all around the island for years. How do you think we managed to be hidden for almost a thousand years? I wish I were you. <laughs> Sorry, but, I just keep being spied on. Anyway. That's, that, that is a concern that we all have. So. So yes, you all gather together, and Astrea, you do the ritual. Yep, and then mm -hmm. and um, it's it's wordless, harmonious singing, and then suddenly I rip a hole in the sky, <laughs> and I go hopping, and you know, lovely galaxy pink. Mm -hmm. You fall for a bit. Uh, I like to think our landings have gotten better. Probably. Yeah, so we're not all falling on top of each other like a pile. Um, and but... you, you, you don't have like a vague idea of where you need to go this time. You know exactly where you need to go. Exactly. So I think if anything, we can just land on our feet nicely. Or you know what? Um, you fall really, really hard. And then when we arrive at our destination, it's like that nice floaty halt puts you back onto your feet kind of thing. And no, Alyssa, not that. I'm literally ripping a hole in reality and chopping through it. It would make more sense to make a Stranger Things vagina pun. <laughs> uh, can I do a backflip? Yeah. Nice. I do a backflip. Mm -hmm. So I will ask, where on the world tree are you coming out? Are you coming out in your house? Or somewhere else? Um... I think our house makes the most sense for me to think of, um, or at least picture since that's where we lived. Uh, so we will be at our nice, nice house and hopefully mm. 
um, our plants aren't dead. No, uh, you know, you get back to your very, very nice house. I mean, this is Joanna and Tamsin, your first time seeing it. It's a very nice house. Uh, some very tasteful nude art, but a very nice house. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, I was about to say, this is exactly where I, because we put the, the tasteful mm. nude art right, like, in, into, like, the entryway. It's like, classic art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So that's where we're going to put you. The first thing you see, painted titties. Mm. Um, and remind me where the garden was again? I think it was upstairs. Back was it on the, on the roof know. or in the backyard? I think, I think it was in the backyard. Yeah, I, was, backyard. I don't think we had anything on the roof. Yeah, because uh, Meryl kept throwing themselves off the roof. Yeah, how can yeah. we grow anything there with Meryl's stinky ass feet walking a bunch? Mm -hmm. um, so, like, literally, uh, you know, there's a window probably really close to you, and uh, this head pops up. Um, and the, the last time you saw this person, they were, uh, they, you know, they were very freshly out of uh, hibernation, let's say, and they were, they were, they seem a little bit more alive, a little bit more, uh, like, less scared. They pop up and they just go, oh my god, you're back! Hi! Sorry. Yes, it is Yay! Hi! <laughs> I yeah I've been I've been keeping your garden all all nice and uh, um, you know I I hope you don't mind that I've been taking all the vegetables because I didn't know when you'd be back. Oh of course of course please eat them I don't want them to go to waste. I'm gonna look oh, on the ground. Oh, hi so hi cool. new people. Hello. I'm not the new <laughs> people sorry. <laughs> I just know there's really new people. Hello. Hello. Nice Hello. to meet you. Um, I'm Joanna. Uh, I'm I'm Torshin. Joanna's gonna think for a second. Is that the no pirate okay. princess? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, to that Joe for how many fucking sessions now? Seasons, Jeez. dear seasons. Yeah, I think that's at least a season. Um, she like thinks for a moment and just goes, "I haven't done that yet. Right now, I'm currently the god of the earth. At least that's what my dad says." Um. If you remember in our like very quick, but not actually so quick, it took like 15 to 20 minutes uh, recap of what y'all missed. Uh, the, this is this is Torfin. We rescued her. But before that, um, you know, the. Um... Joanna, you remember the trolls? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking trolls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This sort of. Yeah, you you actually can tell that she is standing up to her full height, but she her head barely like clears the window. It's just this sure. small dwarf, uh, and her her like uh, her hair is like made out of these all sorts all sorts of crystals. Oh, uh, quick question: How old is she again? Like not it's literally, like 13, but like thirteen. Right? Yeah, she's right? like a yeah. Okay, like thirteen. All right, like Dipper, try to be cool. <laughs> uh. All right, I'll ask her if she can show me the. She seems proud of the garden. I want her to show me the garden. You know, see all the cool stuff she did. Oh yeah. Um. I mean, I just mostly just kind of kept up whatever was already planted here. Oh, nice, nice. I actually, <laughs> I'm not the best with plants, but it's all very nice and pretty. I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna look over it. You know, probably in good condition. This is the god of the earth. I hope she knows how plants work. All she kind of has to do is like vibe around them and they grow. <laughs> <laughs> That's like borderline cheating, but I can respect it. Yeah, water them, you know. But you know, just being around and being around them uh, makes them grow. Aww. Uh, we kind of have to do the thing first, Meryl. Which the idols, right? Yes, the idols. Yes, the idols. We should probably get that settled first, and then afterwards, we will all take the vacation we deserve. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I'll go. I'll go get my dad, and she runs off. Yes, please. Nice. Thank you. Who's who's her dad? Winston. The skull. <laughs> well, he's he a was not now. always a skull. Rude. He's not a skull anymore. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh so god. Yeah, you're gonna meet. You're gonna meet the, the total steel artificer. Yes. <laughs> you're meet <Beck> Winston. <laughs> you mean the skull? that you held and said, I'm baby, is a dad. Yes, yes. Adios mio. 
yes, and dad the whole time. Yes. Um, and uh, and we kind of he's no longer just a skull. Well, that's well, we need to see them again. Mm-hmm. And you can have them too. Oh, thanks. So we should go do the thing, no? Yes, yes, yes. we should. We only have out of character. We only have one idol with us because Lila has the others, right? Or do we have yeah. two? We have no, one. No, Lila. Lila took the others. Uh, okay, okay, when, okay. When she brought Lemon back to the yeah. world tree. Yes, yep. Lemon. Lemon was there. I was. Oh no. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's been a bit. Um, so yeah, you all leave your house and start heading towards the where um, you know where the arch is, where all of this is. Um, and as you're going along, the world tree is uh, very, very just. It was starting to like get busy, and there were a lot of people when you were last there. It somehow seems like the population of the world tree has doubled since you were last here. Uh, there are people all over the place. Um, as you approach the like the arch and everything, uh, Marrow, you do see Lila. There is Rin there as well, along with Theseus. Uh, you see, uh, you see Winston standing next to, uh, standing next to Torfin, and for uh, for the others, is Winston is uh, is a, a suit of armor, a mech. He has a suit of armor that is moving around. Um, and yeah. I go give yeah. Theseus a hug first. Ha ha ha. He's like, yeah, mom wanted to be here, but you know, war meeting and she can't, you know, let on the fact that she's war the... meeting. <gasps> what yeah. war again? We're all preparing for what's going to happen. He killed oh. the guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Look, <laughs> look, look. Maybe I'll, maybe like like ninety percent of the war meetings I've been a part of has been to not no stop with the bugs and the grass okay? Maybe that oh, was no. my entire life. They're doing fine, you know. Uh, I mean, Heron just Heron actually just recently left. He he stopped up stopped by on his way back to Vlagos. He was here for like official duties, right? He wasn't like schlepping off. Fifty fifty. Mm. <laughs> It was, you know, the, the official duties took like a week. He spent like three extra days. All right. That's not 50 50. <laughs> he gets a pass this time. 60 40. Yeah, closer. <laughs> <laughs> I, he, I don't think he really wanted to go back to where it was cold and snowing. And he wanted to spend a little bit more time at the beach with the sun. <laughs> I don't know what his problem is. <laughs> And I then go give Rin a hug because he's probably mm-hmm. waiting in line. Yep. Oh, wow. Line for Estrella hugs. Mm-hmm. I said it before. I am proud of you, and I am so glad you're okay. <laughs> Tamsin Nate is hard. Hmm. Good on them. It's not even like sandwich style. It's just hum hum. <laughs> And that's a way to kill a god. Shot through the heart. And you <laughs> Wait, no, no, keep going. <laughs> I don't want to get copyright struck. <laughs> um, so... Yes. There is Lila. There is all of this. There are all of these people. You watch as the entire population of the world tree is turning out. Also, Joanna Tamsin, you're at the world tree. You're about, uh, you're very high up in the air in a tree right now that has been carved out to make a city, essentially. And we'll have to process this later. Yeah. Not a lot of time to do processing right now. That is very true. You are... Yeah, that's what the beast that pushed me off the tree. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's just the roof, not the whole tree. Yeah, it was a really good I'm going to have to talk to you both later. That's fine. Why is that so ominous? I'm old enough to ground you, both of you. No, you're yeah, not. Ground them. <laughs> no, you're not. You should talk. <laughs> I'm not the Looking one pushing. Australia. I'm not okay. pushing people off of roofs. Australia. Yeah, but that you're pushing by... yourself too hey, far. Yeah, niños, yeah. niñas, por favor. 
Right. This is in yeah. character. Yeah. They don't yeah. speak Sylvan, Joanna. <laughs> no, I, I get the tone. Yeah, I get mm-hmm. the tone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The vibe. Um, so you hand Lila the final idol, right? I'll hand her the final idol, yes. She'll give you a hug, too. Oh, yeah, I'll take a hug. I'll be like, I'm sorry that that was a very scary message. I, f- I keep forgetting there's only one message a day, and there was also like a lot of other things I didn't mention. Here's the idol. I'm okay. Mm-hmm. I say it like 60 HP out of 180. Mm-hmm. She looks you directly in the eyes and goes, never do that again. I will never do that again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and she turns and slowly walks up to the arch. Uh, seems to be like, uh, you know, maybe she hesitates for a moment. Uh, you know, it's been 200 years since she's seen her mom. So uh, it is uh, maybe a bit of nerves. And you watch as she slowly pushes this idol into the final slot. And as it happens, you watch as this energy comes from the tree itself up into the arch and lighting up all of these runes and symbols that you didn't even know were there before. Each of the idols all light up. You see, uh, you see them and it takes a moment but everything coalesces into this portal. And it swirls with this green verdant energy. And as that happens, it's a minute or two moments, really. And there is almost this explosion of magical energy you all feel. Uh, You suddenly realize how Like, it was like when you came back from that strange world. You suddenly realize how deprived of magic Cyrene has been for a while. Magic suddenly feels easier than it's ever been. Uh, That simple thought or a a small word could cause, could cast a spell. And, you know, maybe some people are like, wow, I, it's like that moment where you get like your back adjusted and you're like, wow, my back was messed up. And... All Suddenly, magic users' backs crack at the same time. Yeah, pretty much. And that is, that's the noise, the wave of energy makes. <laughs> Tamsin yeah. and Estrella have, and Groon have never stood to Groon grew up. Mm-hmm. Groon grows another foot because they've just been hunched over. <laughs> Everyone else is like, y'all okay? Like, just like, oh. you're in a moment. Um, and as this portal coalesces into a, you to the Feywilds. You watch as the energy fades into something you can see. You can see the other side. This almost one of the mirror of the world tree on the other side. You watch as these branches just and these vines sort of spring out of the portal and wrap around the arch. Uh, Vines sprouting flowers and after a moment, you sort of, you watch as Atropa walks through the portal. And all of her just finery, the, the purple dress, and never looking better. Uh, and immediately, Lila runs to her, and they embrace for the first time in 200 years. I'm gonna cry. Out of character, out of character, out of character. I was gonna say, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, out of did. character, <laughs> feeling emotional. Put in character. Yes. Cowards. No, not yet. Mm-hmm. And they embrace, and this is the embrace of people who haven't seen each other for two hundred years. You all watch as other people start coming to the portal. Uh, various fey and all sorts of finery, and uh, you know, clothes made out of flowers, plants, things like that. Um, and let's see. Yeah. Everything will be different now. You sort of watch as the tree itself is like coming back to life. It never really looked dead, but suddenly everything is just vibrant. Uh, green everywhere. 
you all sort of feel like the tree maybe is lifting a little bit, uh, lifting higher out of the water as it grows. You watch as these vines also continue growing from the arch all over the tree as well. And the Feywild is open. Hey everybody, Aubrey here with a fun little announcement. Uh, Goblets and Gaze is now an affiliate over at Adventure Dice. And we know how much we all love those math rocks. So if you need some new math rocks in your life, go over to adventuredice.ca and in the checkout code, enter our promo code Goblets for 10% off. But also, they have dice. They have other TTRPG accessories and tabletop goodies, dice trays, uh, condition rings, and things like that, little spell casting stuff. Great stuff there. Go check them out uh, and support our show. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> oh shit, Kella Gog, open the Feywilds. Damn, check, check. All in one day. A busy oh, hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. We just finished fighting God like 15 minutes ago. Like two hours ago. <laughs> two hours just ago. Definitely, yeah, definitely at least an hour, but wasn't mm -hmm. that long before that? Yeah. It's been about two hours since you killed the god, and now you've opened the Feywilds and restored magic to Cyrene. Um, and then after they embrace, Atropa comes back to, comes over to all of you and just goes, you have my thanks, and I don't usually say this to uh, people, but I am in your debt. His eyebrows raised. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Jomina, you, you, there's like a, don't, I think you re like remember something now, don't you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think like during this, I think may have happened, mm -hmm. um, like right when it opened, Joanna like stumbled back just just shortly, but she kind of like regained her composure, and uh, I think it's decided that she just remembers a name mm -hmm. right now um, with a big headache, but she's not going to say anything about it. She just remembers okay. the name Chris. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and Shropa looks at you and just being like, "All your memories should return." in maybe the next month or so. Um, I thought it might be wise to not have them all hit you at once. Uh, I appreciate that you're giving them back, at least. But yeah, no, I I already have a headache. So. Yes, um, take it slow and your memories will return to you in time. Okay. She will walk over to you, Mero, next. I'm scared, mm -hmm. but I'm determined. <laughs> Try to hide all the emotions of everything that just happened the past several hours. Like, we've killed God, we've opened mm -hmm. the Feywilds. It's, it's been a, it's been a... It's, a, it's been a day. It's, been a, it's not even been a day, it's been a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, she, she like reaches out and like brushes a little dirt off your cheek. <laughs> uh, and... And uh, she says to you, well, I certainly hope that we can figure out something for your mother. I... I, I hope so, too. I will figure out what my scholars know. Um, we knew quite a bit about the underworld before um, everything happened, and we will figure out the best way to get there, and the best way to get her out of there. Because I know that... Lila would be very cross if I didn't help you. Oh, don't laugh and care. That's just me. It's just like, oh, yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Try to contain emotions. Just like, I've, I've got sucker control. Lila yeah. glaring daggers in the background, but you fucking <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't think she says anything to Tamsin. Does Tamsin say anything to her? They just, you, you, you imagine a look is shared. Uh, Tamsin is like maybe glaring slightly, but yeah, does not say anything to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll come. I imagine, Australia, you're hanging around where, with Theseus and Rin. Yeah, I do want to mm -hmm. ask though. 
Where, are my dads here or where are they in Cyrene? I don't remember where I left them last. Uh, they are still in Cressa, I believe. Did I say Cyrene when I meant to say <laughs> Cressa? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, Dad, I, 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 be, I believe. Oh no, they're in Mexico now. Um, but yeah, I, I do believe you left them in Cressa. Okay, I will have to look you. back through my notes. Yes, I. It's been a while. It has been a while. I'm it sorry. I like. I genuinely can't remember where we left him. But... <laughs> where did I leave my dad? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. I do believe uh, when um, like Kyrie and all, all of them came to Cressa, they brought them with, just in case. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I, I, I imagine you're gonna head back to Cressa soon, anyways. Yeah. 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 Of mm. course. Of course. Uh, I mm -hmm. just wanted to 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 double check because. Boy, oh boy, can I not remember? Genuinely, it's not even in my notes. I, I just can't, I can't remember either. I'm gonna have to like really dive through my notes, <laughs> figure out where they are, and you know we'll update everybody in season four about where the dads are. <laughs> They're alive and well. They're alive One and of well. them's well. He might be at the World Tree, honestly, because they were at the dinner, the big family dinner. They were. They were. They yeah. were. Yeah. I really was there. And I remember her dad's being there too because there was something about like the food. No, they were they were up in the the family dinner, yeah. But a lot of us went to Cressa. Mm -hmm. They might have gone with us. I don't and then we did yeah. have we did have like a like a like two months in Cressa as well, right? Yeah. So you'd, like of downtime were... to so I genuinely don't know where the fuck they would be. They and I mean, have... there's there's a lot of like scholars and stuff in Cressa where they weren't at the World Tree, so they may have gone there to like look more into the curse stuff. And frankly, that's what makes sense to me. They could have moved without us. They have <laughs> yeah, cursed. yeah, that is also true. Like honestly, the, anything works now. I just wanted to make sure. It's like yeah, if we I'm knew. gonna say that they're in Cressa because that makes most sense to me. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Atropa will come over to. All the, all of you, all of Australia, you and your family, um, and uh, you know, she'll look at you first and saying, oh, "On my f first meeting, I never thought, you know, we would actually meet in person." Uh, I am very glad that you uh, managed to succeed. Were you betting that I would die? No, you're just not the first person who's tried this. Oh, okay, dope, because I was going to be like, that's... I wanted to know how much, like, I was, <laughs> I was not offended, actually. I mean, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, I don't bet on things so crass, but, you know, they might have. And she just at some of the other Fey Royals behind her. Ah, I see. Mm. And then I flex my crown, one of my four... No, I'm joking, I don't do that. Um... <laughs> uh... I'm not sure, was there something else you needed? Um, she'll look over at Ren and just being like, it's good to see you again. You look horrible, like usual. <laughs> He's like, oh. yes, so do you. <laughs> oh. Is this an X fight? Please don't be an X fight. No. Thank, thank no, you. it's not an X fight. It's just... It's been a while since we've seen each other, and ooh, Ren, you've not aged well. It's just like <laughs> he, it is it's clearly like a thing they do where they just insult each other to their faces. Uh, like he's, he's, he's taking bitch. it all in stride. Like Raymond and Holt. Yeah. And and I keep uh, Munch. Is your name Munch? Yeah. Yes. That white woman. Yes. Make, I'm, I'm referencing something about Brooklyn yeah, Nine-Nine. Nine -Nine. I was like, yeah, no, I was like, hold, oh, yeah, it was oh. like, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. I was like, it took me a second, but I was Lunch. like, yeah. Lunch. Lunch. Lunch, thank you. Mm. Lunch. This much. <laughs> hey, yeah, I know. It, it, we, we got close enough. I think that's like a nickname he uses to mm. insult her, so. Yeah. Um, And then, you know, they, they bandy some insults back and forth. Um before uh, coming over to uh, you, Demisa. Okay. 
and she looks looks you and she's seeing like yes i can understand why um they would keep betting on you i understand it now i'm sorry they not me of course uh but you know <laughs> some of the other you know we've been watching everything you all have all been doing for the most part happy to be of entertainment wasn't much else we could do while we were waiting for the Feywilds to open. Tried to give you as much support as I could. Tried to set you on the right path. Wince. <laughs> what you mean by that? The collective group you're referring to. You all, you know, had to fill in some gaps that Rin left, if you remember. Yeah. Kind of. This is season one, the season two stuff. I thought so. Yeah, it was yeah when you came stuff. to our dreams and lore dropped the Fae Wilds. <laughs> yeah, because it was, that was during, during the three episodes of lore drops. This was okay. that. This okay. was there. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought you were referencing, but also I'm like, <laughs> it's been I a bit. Be forgetting I, something else. It's been a bit. Um. So yeah, yeah, and she, she uh. Moves on and to... looks at Gruen and just being like, "You just don't set anything on fire here, and I think we're fine." Same thing with the Feywilds. There's a lot more wood there. That would be a problem. It would. <laughs> Slightly mischievous look is all she gets in response. Or if you if you do. Um... I, she'll give you a couple of um, names. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that these these people you can set their things on fire. I'm okay with it. Do, do you actually have a list of names? Uh, I can get you a list. I don't have like the names off the top of my head. This seems very necessary. <laughs> But yes, uh, and then she returns to discuss with the rest of the Fey nobles, and uh, she looks at everybody else and just being like, "If you would all like to come over to the, into the Fey Wilds, we can all throw you a, a party. I think you all you all deserve something like that. It's been it's been a day, and we've haven't been able to show." Uh, our hospitality for a while. Um, oh, wait, uh, my love? <laughs> Go ahead. Can I roll Faelor? Yeah. Yes. Please. So, I don't know anything about the Fae, but I do know that some planes, their time passes differently. How In the Fae world, it's like if you spend like a very short time there, it's like a fucking year passes, right? No. They are directly what? linked. You can literally just step through this portal and you're in the Feywild. So, like, the times are synced up? Yes. Huh. So they weren't before. Yeah. Um, technically, um, depending on where you are, in it's the shadow plane that time mm. goes fast. That's why we were able to travel so quickly. Because Australia kept throwing you into the shadow plane. Yes. And then our world. Yeah, and, and the underworld yeah. is where time is very, very fast. I think, yeah. I guess, the lower you go. <laughs> I used my hero point, but I got a 39 Fae Lore. 39? For... It, it, you know that some Fae are very much... Are, are you, like, asking, like, the general, like, should I eat or drink anything in the Fae Wilds? Yeah, or, I mean, if I can get specifically, like, can I trust this group at this particular time with this party, but... I mean, it would be very uncouth for them to open up the Feywild and then throw a party and then do all of that. But yeah, again, there's some, like, it is a thing some Fey do, but not, like, all of them. I mean, one of these Fey did just sort of kidnap a person from her home plane and steal all her memories and is now not returning them, so I don't necessarily trust her to not be uncouth, but... That's valid. I, you don't have to go to the party. 
um, okay, what about we can go to the party and if you're uncomfortable with eating or drinking there, you don't have to. But if something bad happens to the people who do eat and drink, um, at least we have like the safety net. That sounds fair. Speaking of nets, um, I think Tamsin and Australia look different. Because what the thing is open. Nets? It has I nothing to do with nets, but I just I remembered it. I can't remember Strayus turned into a net. <laughs> but I um. believe well actually does Tam did does it affect Tamsum now because the thing opened up or not? Nah? Yeah, I think probably just the thing opening up was enough. Yeah. Um on Astraea's end. And now officially Every single Astraea related sibling all have star freckles all over. And um, every scar that they have that's visible turns gold, like Atalanta's one facial scar. So now everybody's got little, everybody in this little, little tiny, like, <laughs> in this little tiny pack have gold scars and a bunch of twinkling. Real, like really nice star freckles. And she's gonna look directly at Theseus and go, "Did you eat glitter?" I was about to ask you the same thing. Oh, this is new. He pokes one on your cheek. <laughs> Does it feel weird? No. I I poke one on on his. I can't reach his cheek arm. <laughs> He's not that. He's he's he's, he's six he's, feet tall. I'm the only yeah. one who is. Oh, true. Yeah, they stole all the height. I was really hoping that when the Feywilds um opened up, I would also like shoot up the six feet, but I guess mm. not. No. Yeah. Ha! No. Uh, oh, Tamsin, you also look different. Yeah. So on Tamsin's end, I think that sort of hidden under the sounds and spectacle of the portal opening and all the plants blooming and all of that. We heard sort of Tamsin's bones crack and reshape, kind of in the way they do when she does her blood feast heart eating. Mm. But this is permanent. And so like all of her limbs are sort of longer and almost grotesque and her skin is pulled a little tighter to her body. Um, her fingernails have grown long almost into claws and there are sort of visible lines, uh, perhaps following her veins, perhaps there's something else of like a lightly glowing red sort of across her body. Tamsin, what the fuck happened? <laughs> <gasps> Hold on, that's a that's a bad quote. Hold on, I'm gonna like see it. Does anyone have a mirror? I mean, I'm Estrella uh, does. does. Yeah, I think I, I do. Like... <laughs> oh, I, I still use. Well, actually, no. Wait, I have two. Never mind. Yeah, because I used I used one to trap a queen. Yes, um, but I do have another one just casually on me. And Estrella will look at Tamsin and, and then look at her at her mirror. Like, it's, I'm not showing it to you yet. And be like, um... Can you, like, just, like, like, prepare yourself mentally? I could feel it happening, Estrella. I'm but capable I... at looking down at my own body. I, I know, I know. It's just like you're, 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 I, like you, you, sometimes you never know how capable you are, you know? It's, it's very cool, actually. Like, I think it's lot. super dope, but I don't know if you will think it's dope. Are you expecting it? You look Is like a spirit Halloween. Familiar to you? <laughs> I was expecting something. I hadn't quite grasped that this is what the change would be. Obviously my knowledge about the Feywilds is incomplete, but... Okay! And I, I will, like, show you the mirror, let you hold it and stuff. 
Oh yeah, also both her eyes are like glowing red. So instead of just the one previously, which wasn't glowing, it was just red. Um and she looks at the mirror and sort of I think looks down at herself and says I suppose it's good that my father isn't around to see this. What? Why? That's so ominous, Tamsim, and you don't tell us shit. What? What did your father do to you? What happened? What? Oh, no, my father was a lovely man. He was human. You don't think he would oh, be okay, okay. excited by this? I doubt it. No, um, he had encouraged me to not pursue the call to the Feywilds when I first felt it. If he wouldn't like you, he sounds like a pussy to me. <laughs> a little bit. Kind of rude, but... I think it would great. Like, their loss. If it, I mean, if it helps, you, you look like, you look like you can really pull off the whole, like, um, oh, goodness, I'm running out of words, I'm sorry. I used a lot of big spells today, so it's going to be kind of crass what I'm, what I'm, or, um, what I'm going to say. You, you look like you can pull off the MILF look really, really well, like the leather MILF. <laughs> I think that Tamsin does genuinely like full on laugh at that. <laughs> she says, oh, "Thank you, Australia." I I had like I, like have like such a much better way to like explain it, but unfortunately, I'm I'm all juiced out, and leather milf is the only way to villain era could have been another one but like not in a bad way like like in the like in the and i'm not going to take shit anymore kind of way you know very girl boss of you you do look like a girl boss now you could gatekeep anything <laughs> gaslight Tim's all in. of them <laughs> Timson looks at Mero and sort of playfully raises an eyebrow and says do you think that i couldn't gatekeep them before <laughs> oh, there's the no, gaslighting. I, I, said, I said you could be a girl boss. Australia said you could gatekeep too. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's an Australia comment. It was an Australia comment, but it's okay. Blame Mero. We will support, <laughs> we will support their rights and their wrongs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I support women's rights and a woman's wrongs. Exactly. Oh, oh, oh. I think now might be an okay time to ask since you're both here and in the. S so what? You're tired enough where if if I were to run, you cannot catch me. No, I can. No, you can't because my uh, grandpa is a god. <laughs> you think god can stop me? And he's standing right here. That's right, yeah. <laughs> I saw his character sheet. I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> You're all fucked. <laughs> um, but, um, so Meryl, this is this is literally a day before Tamsin showed up in Cressa. So 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 Tamsin, this concerns you now a little bit too. But Meryl, do you remember mentioning um the state and well being of your mama? Yes, as it's not very good. Yes. Well I'm not done yet. Um, and I haven't tested it at all. Uh, I, 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 I need a few more days at the very least to do some of it, but, um, I think I can get you both to talk to her. Their eyebrows raise. Yeah, Tamsin's, like, zooms in on, <laughs> uh, Australia. Zoom in is the wrong word, but... <laughs> I just come out of zoom in! <laughs> yeah, that's no. what my prying eye spell does now, is it just like my eyeball <laughs> detaches from my face? Like a Looney Tune! <laughs> yeah. 
Uh-huh. Um, yeah. So, uh, so okay, okay. This is this is all going to sound like really, really bad, um, because of where I found it or where I started looking into it. But um, you know how like we had two really, really evil dragons with very sus books. No, but I started taking apart the book, like not physically taking apart the book, but I mean like you know, there's like lifts and stuff and weird. It's a, a lot of code-related shit, you know, ciphering and, and stuff, and then me figuring some other stuff out. But, um... One of them, it's it's kind of similar... Okay, it's, it's, this is a very bad way to, to explain it. It's like, I can take someone we've met and kind of bring them here, but they're not actually here. It's more like of asking or talking to them kind of like you're trying to make a call but it works much better than the sending you know there's no like there's no limit like word limit there's a question limit so technically there is one but it's it, it, look I'm pretty sure I can just as long as one of you knows her and can and think about her and, and stuff. I think I can find her and actually talk to her. Like, I can establish a connection and we can talk to her. As long as you're not pushing yourself too far for this, I'd very much be interested in that. I would as well. Um... Very much, Estrella. Okay, it's gonna take me some more time. But that one's the easier one. The much harder one, um, is... This one is a nice collective thing. Um, does it tell that to do me already? Ha ha ha. Well, I might know how to fix a body now. Without, like, collecting a whole dragon skeleton. Oh? I... I'm not sure how far I can go with that one, though. But... You, you, you know, I just need something. You, it's one of those kinds of vibes, and, um... I don't know if, if, if it also just works lineage-wise, like, what if I just, you know, get a little bit of, um... You know, I'm not actually sure how I can explain it, but let's just say I need something, and then I can just produce... Theoretically, I could produce the same body and then put the say the soul for that body that it belonged to originally and just stuff it in there, you know. Mm. I, I'm not much of a magic person, so I trust you on this statement more than anything. Oh, I hope I'm I hope I'm doing this right, because if not, <laughs> um well, whoever we do it to first is going to be very up cross with me. It's gonna be Winston. I think it's gonna be Winston. We do it first too because we have more of him. I did want to check with Rose on how the whole body construction arc was going because we'd give them that task and see if perhaps what they've been doing can help you kickstart what you want to do. That's true. That's true. It's. I think the hardest would be for your mom. In which case, if I mean we do have the other default thing, sad dirt. You know. I think Luctus mentioned that he found where she died, quotation marks, the first time in a conversation, but I'm not sure how much farther that's gone. I could always ask. I feel like he's going to be at a party, but I don't know if Rose is going to be at the party, so I might play Rose. That's, that's, that's true. Well, then I'm, you don't have to ask, ask them at the party, but if he could dig up your mom's dilapidated body, that'd be so great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I imagine you're having this conversation on the way to the party. Yeah. I, I was just imagining, like, on the fucking fence, because I'm like, where's Rose? I need to talk to her about the body. Is she going to the party? Rose is not. She is in Cressa right now. Right, never mind. I guess we're all walking to the party. Rose is in Cressa being gay. Okay, respectable. <laughs> yeah. I'm, just, I'm gonna look at my bloody outfit and just be like, I don't think we're dressed properly for a party. 
front of our, first. Our house is right there. It's fine. I don't have a change of clothes. It is very formal anymore. I can press visitate you. <laughs> that works. I do that a bunch. Mm. And then I cast Restyle on me, so that way I look super hot. <laughs> and, um, and to dis- obviously, it'll be full of titty. So to distract um, like Rin, at the very least, I throw Rosalite at him and go, Do the thing! Grandpa! <laughs> no, the one hour thing. <laughs> oh. Poof. <laughs> and Rin is like, ah! That's right. We learned a few things. Say how long you can do it for. One hour. Done. <laughs> this is certainly a, a turn of events. He says, holding a tiefling. And I imagine he's doing the thing where you hold them, like, out, with outstretched arms. <laughs> so it's just holding tiny tiefling. <laughs> I'm going to give Rin, like, a half hour. And then mm. I'm going to go... Oh, Rosalite, because I haven't done it yet as a as a teetling baby. Mm-hmm. But he gets a half hour. Yeah, he'll carry you around. You know, he'd be granddad. Then it's my turn. I, and at uh, least he's like, oh, I've just become even more of an uncle. <laughs> I've even become even more of the gay uncle. <laughs> oh no, you're right. <clears throat> oh my god, he's the cool gay uncle too. <laughs> If she ever has a problem, it's his house she's going to. Yep. <laughs> Damn or it. Heron. Or Heron. That's, that's mm-hmm. true. They kind of have to fight for that title. Yeah. But uh, you all eventually find your way to where the party is being held. It's in this just sort of like massive garden. There are tables, fountains, all of that stuff, all sorts of very delicious looking food uh, and drink. There is wonderful music in the background. May I make a suggestion to the music? Sure. Orchestra, modern pop songs, like in Bridgerton. I got to <laughs> I gotta, I've got to see if I can find any of those that are. I can, um... I can. I, oh, my God. I'll send you some like as an example, if you haven't, mm. like, if well, you don't know what I'm talking can, about. I, no, I definitely know because I've seen Bridgerton, but I was like, I got to see if I can find some that are like that, that I can use. That's true, that's true. Either way, Taylor Swift's Bad Blood, but it's pure orchestra classical music uh-huh. playing in the background. Yep. So it's just like a free-for-all, do-whatever-you-want kind of party, or...? Yep. How, how busy is it? Incredibly. There are so many people here. I'm going to sit away from the crowd. <laughs> I think yeah. it's been a long couple hours. I'm going to sit down and just listen to the music mm. respectfully. Yeah. 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 You have uh, anything you would like to do? Any conversations you would like to have? Now is the time. Conversations we want to have surrounded by Faye. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I dance with Australia. <laughs> yes, dance with me. Yes. Mm. And I mean, if anybody wants to talk talk to Winston about a possible new body, now is a great time. Yeah, I will. But after my dance, let me have my moment. Go, <laughs> go have your moment. I, I can am, talk to Winston after the, while they're dancing. No, the body talks mine. I mean, you can show up too. Don't worry. But like, <laughs> <laughs> I, a strangest gesture to Mero. Here's the prototype. <laughs> No, that's a completely different body conversation. <laughs> jo- Joanna wants to talk to Winston too. After your dance, we'll let you have your moment because Joanna hasn't seen Winston in in certain amount of time. Yeah, two seasons. And during the dance, Grun is on the dance floor in a fire dress, just spinning around in circles really fast. Checks out. I love it so much because at first, mm-hmm. like, I know, I know it's just like spinning, right? Mm-hmm. While on fire. But for some reason, I thought you were going to break it down like B-boy style. <laughs> <laughs> but also be on fire. Like, that's still, that's still your thing, you know, but just mm-hmm. different dance, different dance. Different, different dance. 
Um, but yeah, it, 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 I, I, Joanna will probably have some questions when you see Winston, who is now a walking suit of armor. <laughs> yeah, I will. But yeah. That's okay. I don't think we're talking during this dance. You all can do things during the dance. <laughs> I'm trying to think, because I feel like Mero is just kind of overwhelmed by everything right now, sitting in the corner, just like, oh god. Lila will sit next to you. Aw. And are she you will bring you, bring you, like, punch and something to eat. Aw. I you sure you don't want to go catch up with your mom? It's been, like, a lot of years. But to be fair, we were talking quite often, like, through dream messages and things like that, so it, like, it's not like we haven't been talking. But, you know, she's she's got to do the thing where she talks to all the important like that. Not that I'm not important, but like <laughs> the like the like nobles and things like that. Um, so I just, you know, we'll, we'll talk after the party. And, you know, I haven't seen you since we ran from dinosaurs. So I feel like there's a lot to catch up with. There is a lot, a lot of things. A lot of things did happen. I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to talk about. I feel like Tamsin would kill me if I talk about some of it. Oh? Uh, one second. We're gonna go up to Tamsin and be like, Hey, Tamsin, can I tell the lore about your connection to my mom really quickly to someone? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point over at Lila. You gotta, you gotta trust me on this one, please. It's a very awkward situation for me. Uh, can I vibe check Mero? <laughs> sure. That's a 27. What do you want to know? <laughs> I don't know. Are you like... How good is your judgment? That's not really what a vibe check does, but... I feel like this is an okay thing. They think it's definitely an okay and safe thing to do. <laughs> and I don't know about all the times they've been kidnapped. I don't think all of them came up in the recap. So there was only one time they've been kidnapped. That was for like what twenty-five? Like that was like less than a day of kidnapping existing. So it's fine. You're so you also know... ethically kidnapped. <laughs> yes. You know why is trustworthy <laughs> because she's been holding all the idols and opened the Feywild. True. So whether you trust Mero, mm, but you could trust Lila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Timson will look over at where Mero has pointed and nod. I'm gonna nod back. I'm gonna go back over. Be like, you wanna hear something fucked up? Uh, uh, sure. She says, slightly worried. Okay, I'm gonna, I just, you might wanna put your drink down really quickly. Put the drink down. I'm gonna point at Timson. I'm just gonna say, that was my mom's fiance. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, is that like your new mom? I, I don't know. I, I actually don't know what she thinks of me. Well, I mean, I think okay-ish. I haven't asked. It's kind of weird to ask. I, I mean, I feel like that's something you should should want to know. Yes, but like, she has a lot of stuff going on with going into the Feywilds and finding her other parent. I I don't want to bog her down, you know. It's fine. It's it's fine. If it comes up, it comes up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you should really still talk to her, though. <sighs> okay, but only because you asked. Very nicely. Mm -hmm. Also, eat some fruit. You you look like you've got a little bit of like the vi vitamin C deficiency. Jeremy's <laughs> <laughs> bad. Okay, fine. I, I will eat some fruit, but very reluctantly. Like I am, I'm tolerating this. Um, I'm just like, you know what? I'm, I'm. It's been a long couple of hours. You want to hear the other weird thing? Sure, lay it on me. I, are you sure? I mean, I'm not holding a drink that I can drop right now. So now is the best time. <laughs> Perfect. So remember when you came to visit and you were really tired and you like passed out immediately, but Astray was talking about, let me, let's tell Lila the dirt thing. And I was like, no, let's not tell Lila the dirt thing right now. Uh-huh. 
I think I'm sleep deprived and off the rails enough to bring up the dirt thing. Uh, the dirt thing is I'm made of dirt. It's it's a spell that the old creator of the underworld made to make like clay into a person and I yeah. I'm dirt. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, she, 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 she like looks so confused. She like reaches out and like doesn't like doesn't hurt or just like, gently pinches your arm. Yeah, it went from dirt to skin and flesh and bone and stuff. It's uh I feel mm-hmm. like oh can I just pull Zolzerm out of my bag <laughs> to explain it better. Zolzerm than I was am. totally partying this whole fucking time. No way are we <laughs> leaving him in the bag, you oh you heathen. He is okay. he is at we a table. We brought another dragon with us. Surrounded by Faye, telling God. his stories. Okay, he's busy right now, mm. but it's like I I don't know the details. I don't know a lot of magic stuff, but apparently it went from clay to living. I mean, magic can do a lot of things, so that actually doesn't surprise me. But you know, gl- glad you're living. <laughs> Thanks, I'm also glad that I'm living. That that fight was that fight was terrifying, I'll be completely honest. We made it out. I did not know a god could punch that hard. I just think I still have a bump on the back of my head from it. <sighs> Touches you, heals you for 70. What the fuck? <laughs> what the <laughs> you mad? <laughs> oh, okay, that feels a lot better actually, thank you. You're, you're welcome. I didn't know you were still in pain, or else I would have done that earlier. Oh no, we kind of went straight from the fight to somewhere to here. So, uh, yeah. How- have you been getting enough rest? You can take a rest now, right? Yeah, I can definitely take a rest for like three day- for like a day. <laughs> you said three days. Uh, a day. Uh, and then I gotta meet up with the rest of the true gods and figure out what our plan is. Because definitely killing a god is going to um, push up their schedule. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a good point. (sighs) There's going to be an all-out war. But I guess we sort of scared them, which is almost a good thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. No, no god has been killed before. Like, they tried to kill Rin, and, you know, you saw how that happened. That didn't work. They weren't, weren't able to kill him. Yeah, and honestly, there's a chance that not all the gods are quite working in unison or sync, so if this can sort of rattle them and cause a fissure, that would be that would be great. But I'm not entirely sure what will happen. Oh, this, this is work planning. We're supposed to be talking about fun stuff, not work planning. Like literally my entire life is work planning. Do you have any hobbies? Yeah, I did when I lived in the cabin. I made wine. I did leatherworking. I did a lot of cooking and gardening. Uh, and then, you know, I did some, like, you know, just tailoring and because you know, I made all my own clothes, um, you know, uh, if I had, like, a place to set up, like, somewhere to do blacksmithing, I probably would have taught myself blacksmithing. Oh, blacksmithing sounds fun. I, I don't know if we have space in the house to set something up like that, but there might I be some... I also wouldn't want to do that at a tree. Also true, actually. I mean, we do have a garden that torfine has been mostly taking care of, and honestly, I'm probably gonna have to learn how to take care of it. I mean, we can do gardening stuff? Yeah, I can, I can help you garden tomorrow. Thank you. This is going to be a relaxing gardening session. I will do my best. Please. As long as nobody comes with news or anything, I should be able to rest for a day. I'm just going to smile and say, oh, nobody's going to get to the house with news. I, I don't know how you can guarantee that. Don't worry about it. Now I'm worrying about it. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, and I guess I feel like we just talk about casual stuff for the night, mm-hmm. unless she wants to go hang out with other people. 
Yeah, she may she may eventually like sort of wander away and chat with people, chat with her mom, chat with other Fae. Please let her be social with other Fae. She's been locked away for like hundreds of years. Yeah. Wanna do the Winston Bati talk? Sure. If nobody else has anything they want to do. We'll take that silence as a no. Yeah. Um yeah. Gonna gonna catch Winston at some point with whoever else wants to show up for this and uh, one hug mm. um, yes and two so how are you we got to meet Torfin again earlier she looks great yes she, she is she's doing very very well I'm very proud of uh, how she's been these past few months uh, you know, letting her take care of your garden, I think, really helped. She always liked plants. Oh, that's really good. I'm glad I... Uh, I... Oh, I cannot offer... Well, I don't know, actually, if, if my dad has been doing... He's, my dad has quite a few people to help with, with therapy stuff, but I'm, I'm sure... I mean, she's a kid, so... Yes, and... It's, if she remembers a lot of things, she hasn't told me. Uh, it does appear that uh, any of the times she was encased in crystals, she was not aware of what was happening. I still kind of fucked up. It is, and I'm getting her the, you know, taking it one day at a time, you know, letting her be a kid. You know, I'm, the, the other, none of the other true gods are asking her for anything, and none of them want to, so. Oh, that's good. That's valid. Um, quite, quite, uh, how, you know how we got you your bones back? You, yes. Is that how that worked? <laughs> also, <laughs> hi, Winston. That's hi, hi. It's it's good to see you again. It's good to see you and not a skull. It's very good to not be a skull. And I see you're no longer baby. <laughs> I learned I, that one from Australia. I desire power. <laughs> you could still be baby though, Winston. Yeah, I mean, you know, he'll just take off the helmet of his his like helmet and like hand it to you. <laughs> yes, now I am baby. Baby, yeah. I'm I'm like mm. lifting the helmet over my head, like yeah. Uh, uh -huh. oh yes, but. Uh, Joanna, you can you can speak if you want and catch up more before I. No, I'm just gonna hold this helmet because I'm afraid you're gonna drop it. You're very tired. Continue. Oh yes, uh, I have a 12 in strength. Please take it. <laughs> Joanna's holding the helmet, very mm -hmm. confused, but letting this conversation yeah. go on. It, it, it's exactly like uh, Alphonse, where there's like there's like uh, some like metal supports inside the armor, but there's like not much there. <laughs> There's like, you know, some like symbols drawn inside it, but, you know, there's nothing inside it, really. No person. Lots of work went into doing this. But um, anyways, you remember how we, 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 we were able to recover your remains? Yes, we, we, we gave them a nice burial. In like, the, the, our, like behind our house, because we don't have anywhere really to bury them. How would you like to commit a grave robbing? It, it, uh, it depends. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I know. I just I had to ask that. Um, well, I you didn't, but that's okay. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> I'm an agent of lawful chaos. It is. It is. It is. I must do it. Um, anyways, um, so the best way to put it is, I, I st I'm still working on it. But I kind of think I figured out a way to regrow your old body back. Uh, how? How would one do that? Um, okay, well, uh, and I pull out my book because we just went. So I'm assuming we still have like all of our shit. Mm. Yeah. And so I'll pull out my book and flip through to like very messy notes and kind of just show him and explain it like what I've got so far. And, um, Add a, add a character. I think y'all have already seen that spell. 
and in between seasons i want to work on it and see if i can alter it in some way because that spell has other shit going on and and i want to see if 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 i want to see how much i can bullshit this um and modify it but other than that um i just explained to winston essentially what i know and how to do it being we need like the more remains we have the easier it gets mm-hmm. <laughs> The issue is the remains are super old, so we got to be really careful with it. Yes. I mean, from all that you're explaining, that should theoretically work. And now that we have a lot more magic to work with, it should be easier. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, you know, okay, so we kind of have a situation where we need to do this three times. Um, you know, one for you, uh, one for Zolstrom over there, you know, the the dragon in the plushie and um one for someone who currently has no body but has a soul somewhere it might take a little more work but yeah it's 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 like the levels go a little bit higher up and for some reason the dragon's in the middle i mean i have a lot of free time so i can also look into these options as well but you're okay with being essentially the test dummy for it? Like, you're, you you know. I mean, I was a scientist, so. I know, but like, I'm asking you to be, um, subject zero. Well, yes, actually, no, been... we could, we could take a chicken, technically, like a dead animal, um, and just try it on them, too. But like, it, it feels weird, like it's a full, like, thing off, you know? Yes, and this would not be the first time I have tested strange magical things on myself or let strange magical things be tested on me I don't need to know your kinks sir I'm joking <laughs> I'm joking <laughs> I apologize Winston it's okay she just killed a god I mean we all just killed a god I'm tired but yeah as long as you're okay with it um, I w- will take We'll take some time and, you know, poke literally everyone we know about it. And if we fail, well, I'll just make your 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 next your 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 armor taller. That's all. You know, I'm already pretty tall, so. I know, but what if you were taller? I mean, that'd be nice. I have so many high shelves. I don't know why I have so many high shelves. And yes, if I mean, I didn't mind being a dwarf, but. You know, maybe we can, I don't know, make me taller. Add a few in, yeah, yeah, no, it doesn't say anything about me not also modifying, you know, the, 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 the actual body. I mean, you know, it works, it works. And... Yeah, exactly, exactly, mm. you know, I'm just saying, I wish, yep. I thought when the Feywild mm. would open up, I would get tall too. Um, the answer mm. is no, no, I'm yeah. still short. And, yeah. But the rest of my family gets to be six feet over, and that doesn't make any sense to me. Hmm. Maybe we can find a ritual to, to make you taller. Life feels like a cruel joke. <laughs> uh, but I will say, the one drawback of this form is apparently I don't need to sleep. No. I used to sleep a lot beforehand, but now Best I'm like, a, na- a nap would be nice. You don't need to sleep in this form, huh? No. Winston, and thank you so much for this conversation. <laughs> Astraea, uh, Joanna is going to pick up Astraea and we're no. going to walk away. My, my body has no bodily needs anymore. <laughs> Have a great rest of the party, Winston. But Astraea. Why? You too. But I could be so cool. We could have pink armor. Astraea is going to walk up to Demisa and her. Joanna's gonna walk up to Demisa and hand her his prayer. <laughs> like, wait, no. Yeah. And just look at Demisa. Here's your girlfriend. She needs a nap. Or yes. just go to sleep. You know what? We had a dance. We had some snacks. I think it's time to go home. It's been a long day. You all enjoy the party, enjoy the little bit of downtime. Eventually head back through the portal. Uh, and... Uh, One thing you do notice is that a a lot of area, like the tree has raised up a little bit, uh, and then there is like actually land below this tree now. Uh, 
And so, like, the, the world tree is not just a tree in the middle of the ocean anymore. It's, a, it's just an entire continent on its own. I called it. There's a mm -hmm. new continent. Yeah. I fucking uh. called it. I called it because it had cannons. <laughs> I literally <laughs> called it head cannons. But yes, you all <laughs> head back to your house and go to sleep. For t because tomorrow... There is so much to do. And, you know, we're just getting started. And uh, now who wants to, you know, reveal that they've been kidnapped? So as you take <laughs> me, me all me <laughs> all along. Oh no, we lost souls right Oh no. So from, he's still in the Feywilds. Because he's so too funny. busy making a fairy dragon. <laughs> he's a puppet. He can't do that right now. Magic. Magic exists. Magic. He made most magic of his children do magic now. anyways. Yeah, magic, but, oh no. That's right. Dirk from the Feywilds. He's a pilf. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's what we had done. That's it. Yep. That, that's it's the up. end. The end of season three. Um, yep, uh, we'll be back, uh, uh, we'll have a, an actual date in the coming weeks as to when we'll be back, but yeah, enjoy our Between Seasons content, and, uh, yeah, we'll see everybody with Season 4. Now, Tick, do the thing. Thank you everyone for listening to another wonderful episode of Goblets and Gays. If you like what we do here, feel free to follow us on Twitter at Goblets and Gays. We also have a Patreon where you can support us, get exclusive content, and help upgrade people's microphones because, by God, I think some of us needed it. <laughs> Uh, we have all sorts of fun, wonderful projects from various different cast members that you should check out. And remember, stay safe, eat your vegetables, and oh god, do I have to do a whole season 3 recap? <laughs> mm. uh, actually, let's see what happens, because usually I do the opening season recaps. I did it for mm. season 2, and yeah. I did it for season 3. So if you want to, we c you can totally do it. If not, I'm so down for doing the full season 4 one, just make it full circle. Yeah. We can uh, figure that out in between. So yeah, now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye and fuck you, Craig. <laughs> fuck you, Craig. Fuck you, fuck Craig. Craig. Thank you, Craig. No. No, you cut that out, Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs>